Hey guys, today we're gonna be making a zombie teddy bear. I made a basic teddy bear shape out of some foil and added a bunch of polymer clay super sculpy on top. I fattened the little guy up a bit and cut its stomach open. The color of the clay here is really not doing me any favors. The whole reason why I'm even making this is because I went through some pictures from my old phone from like 2015. I found this one screenshot of a zombie teddy bear so I thought I would make my teenage self happy and make it now. I've always been a fan of creepy stuff and horror movies and I kind of feel like it's because of all the cartoons I used to watch as a kid. My favorite one used to be Courage the Cowardly Dog. I recently rewatched some of the episodes. Uh, it's, it's a really weird choice for a kid's favorite TV show. Return the slab. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. This monster doesn't seem as scary now as it did when I was a kid, but this specific episode is still engraved in my memory because I was so scared of it when I was a kid, it, it was insane. The void in the teddy bear's stomach got filled with some fake... Hmm. What do they even put in teddy bears? What is it called? Huh, who knows. I decided to make its mouth sewn shut because I didn't really want to deal with making any tiny teeth. The poor bastard is also losing one of its eyes, if you can really call buttons eyes. I also added a bunch of other places where the teddy has been cut open for unknown reasons really, I just thought it looked cool. In the end result, I think the parts where he has been sewn together really added a lot of nice detail to it. He also got a bunch of little claws on his hands and feet. And also a little button falling off its face, kind of defying gravity. For the base, I covered the thin piece of wood in some bacon bond and then added the sausage on top. I chopped off the edges and made the base look like it's made out of some tiles. I tried to make an anatomically correct brain, but when I realized that that's not gonna happen, I just pretended that I didn't want to do that in the first place. I made some little worms, and I'm not sure if these are the right ones to use, but I like these ones, so... After baking the base, I sculpted some moss between the tiles. I also added these little coral mushroom things. I don't really know what these are and if they exist, but I have seen them somewhere and I thought they looked really cool. I also attached the bear to the base, which was a massive mistake. Stay tuned to see what happens next. I gave the brain some damage and added a bunch of little mushrooms and all the little worms I made before to the base. Now, I have no idea why there are regular forest mushrooms growing on these tiles, but if a teddy bear can come to life, I'm pretty sure the mushrooms can survive. I added an intestine in its hands, and I realized that it doesn't really make sense since his mouth is shut, so he doesn't actually eat the stuff. I guess he just likes to destroy things and kill. After finally realizing how difficult it's gonna be to paint the whole thing, I decided to rip the bear off the base. I covered the tiles in some light grey and tried to make it look really nasty and dirty with some darker grey. I also added some green to make it look really like mossy and rotting and gross. So since I still had no idea what these things really are, I didn't know how to paint them. I just decided I would make them yellow and add a little bit of orange on the inside. I painted the little mushrooms red with white dots and they're actually called fly agarek, which is something I definitely knew and didn't google. I covered the brain in some pink paint and then added a red wash on top to make it look more bloody and realistic. I have a lot of ideas of stuff I want to make in the future and that contains things that are very big in size and include resin and all kinds of other materials that I currently don't have or have the place to make them. So 
for now I'll stick to making smaller things, but hopefully in the future I'll be able to make all of the stuff I really want to do. I covered the bear in a dark brown, but used a very light brown color for the stomach. I then went over the whole bear with a different, also light brown color. I added some more highlights to the lighter parts of its body. Then I covered it in a dark brown wash. I couldn't decide what color to use for the strings and at the end I decided that white would look the nicest. I painted whatever is coming out of its stomach in a more yellowish whitish color. I painted the intestine the same way I did the brain. The white strings were looking too white so I went over them with a brownish wash to make them more dirty. I glazed the intestine, all the mushrooms, brain and everything that's covered in blood in a shiny glass. I also decided to glaze the tiles because as far as I know they are usually shiny. I really hate these super glue packages because no matter how nicely I treat them, the cap always gets stuck and I have to break it open to get the glue out. But yeah, I super glued the both parts together and that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!